And well, I'm Jenna. I'm the general manager. Yeah, I've worked here for, um, it's going to be six years this year. Um, I actually came in, I had moved with my husband here to Kansas City. I'm originally from Los Angeles, but he's from here. And so um, we moved here to be close to his kids. And I was like looking for a job and I was like, oh, good Pepo. And I got a job here as a server and just kind of worked the way up. But Buca de Beppo has always been a great place to like celebrate at. So it was like, it would be cool to work here. <laughs> um, we actually originated in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it'll be 21 years this year. And um, it was actually just a couple guys that had a huge passion for creating like vibrant Italian food in a setting that made you feel like you were like going into your grandmother's basement. Oh, it's different every single day. You never really know like what to expect. Being the GM, I kind of have like a running to-do list in my head before I even get to work, but like interacting with the guests and visiting everybody and creating like special celebrations for everyone is a lot of fun and it's really rewarding. Um, some of our food actually comes, like all of our pastas are imported from Italy. Um, we don't make any of them here in house. And then we use uh, specific vendors for um, everything else, but they get everything from Italy and then as far as the pastas go and then everything else just comes here from several different vendors. Um, I would actually say that there was um, just some regulars that came in and uh, I think I had served them for maybe five or six years or maybe five years and just seeing their family grow and just kind of like the celebrations that they have and it was really great to kind of share that experience with them and they always like call me part of their family so it's it's always great to have that relationship with our guests. I have all the bowling pins on the walls like you'll see several of them because when the early um, Italian immigrants came over from Italy they didn't have in the United States anything for bocce ball which was the sport that they played in Italy, so they wound up, um, in, sorry, they wound up taking on the American sport of bowling. And so, yeah. You know, there's over 3,400 pictures on the walls, and I feel like I see a different one every single day. Um, but I really like uh, the picture over here with the woman that looks like Julia Roberts with the huge melons actually <laughs> <laughs> just because it's like really unique and she looks like really happy but it's just a funny picture um we actually have almost 10,000 square feet <laughs> yeah so when i first started working here i was like where am i going like i'm totally gonna get lost um but you know we we found our way eventually so we have over 300 bottles of wine up here on the ceiling um where our guests have actually signed them and as they buy bottles of wine, we just kind of rotate them, so. But it's cool because people will come here and they're like, oh, our bottle of wine's like right over there. And you know, it makes them feel like they're part of our restaurant. Um, we were purchased by Planet Hollywood about four years ago. And, um, and this is our Pope room, big for celebrations. And we actually have Pope Francis. So we're current with our Popes. Um, but there's like almost a hundred Buca de Beppos now throughout the United States. There's a lot. My cooks are really loud in the mornings <laughs> before we open just singing and doing all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs>